Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a continuation on how to build the armature of the dynamic symmetry grids. This time I'm going to show you how to draw the dynamic symmetry, but you won't have to use a T-square or a triangle. You can get those right angles perfect without using any other tools other than your calculator and then maybe a ruler. So let's get into it. We covered how all the root rectangles have a certain ratio. So this ratio is going to come in handy when we try to draw our right angles of the dynamic symmetry. If you have an arbitrary canvas size or photo size or anything, we can figure out the ratio just by dividing the larger number into the smaller number and we get our ratio. So what I found when you're using a ruler to draw it freehand, it's easier to read the ruler if you convert everything to millimeters. So if you look at your ruler here, you're going to see a lot more increments on the centimeter side as opposed to the inches side. So that allows us to get more precise with our measurements without trying to calculate decimal points and things like that. To convert an inch to millimeters, we just, I've got a little key up here and we can see one inch equals 2.54 centimeters and there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So that means 2.54 centimeters equals 25.4 millimeters. This is real simple math, you guys. So just use your calculator. So now we know one inch equals 25.4 millimeters. So to find our ratio, we just divide the larger number by the smaller number and we get our ratio. Okay, so the 14 by 11 is actually a root five because the ratio is the same exact as the root five up here. Okay, and then we take the smaller side, which is 11, and we divide that by the ratio and we get 8.64 inches. So this is the number that's gonna give you your right angle measurement. So let's just convert 8.64 inches, 8.64, and we multiply it by the millimeters found in this key up here, 25.4. So we've got 219.45 millimeters. So when we look at our ruler, not sure if you guys will be able to see this, but we look at our ruler and we see on the centimeter side, 10 centimeters is actually, we just add a zero on the end of that and that's 100 millimeters. So what we're looking for is 200, basically 220 millimeters. So we just go up to the 22 and that's gonna be our increment, that's gonna be our measurement. And if you wanna get really precise, you can just go to the 219 mark and then you go halfway in between that, which at this point, it's not really gonna make a difference, that little tiny increment. So that's why I use millimeters, it gets us more precise and gets us to where we need to be a lot quicker. Okay, so once you have that 219, 0.45 or whatever measurement it is you're going to take your canvas and you're going to measure from each corner 219.45 millimeters this way and then 219.45 millimeters this way and do it from each corner on the root 5 specifically we're going to actually cross over the halfway mark that's not for every root rectangle so we're actually going to cross over the halfway mark and then this is going to be our measurement from this corner so then we measure that from this corner 219.45 millimeters and we get this mark and we do it from each corner and we get our separate marks so then when we draw our diagonals those are easy it's corner to corner now when we draw from the corner to our measurement it's going to pass over the major diagonal at 90 degrees so this way we don't need to have a t-square or a triangle which can be a pain in the butt sometimes Okay, so that's pretty easy. You just use basic math and do the calculation, use your calculator, and we've got our measurements. So to get the major area divisions, we just divide the smaller side by two, which we get 5.5 for the 11 by 14. And then we divide 5.5 by our ratio, and we get 4.32. So 4.32 inches times 25.4 will give us our millimeter measurement. Okay, so once we find our new measurement, the 109.82 millimeters. We just take our canvas or our photo or whatever, divide it in half vertically and horizontally. That'll give us one, two, three, four smaller rectangles inside the mother. So then we just do the same as last time. We just measure from each corner lengthwise 109.82 millimeters. So from here to here will give us 109, from here to here, and then we just keep going. So measure each rectangle from each corner and that'll give us the measurements for the major area divisions. So that's it. Now you can draw your basic armature and your major area divisions with just some simple math, a little pen, pencil, and a straight edge ruler. 
So that's it. If you guys like this, subscribe, like, and it'll let me know that you want to see more of this stuff. All right, take care.